This is the Anadiz AI7M. It's a kind of cube form factor case with a rather interesting design and some interesting features too, so uh, feel free to stick around for the full review. Check out our website at techteamgb.co.uk for more info on both this and many other products, and also up-to-date news on all things tech. Stick around for this awesome video. So, as I said, this is a cube form factor case, which means you have a rather large area on the front for ventilation for the, I believe, 220mm fan that sits behind there. On the right side panel, you've got some extra ventilation for the power supply to bring in some cold air, and up the top, you've got a power button and power LED, reset button and hard drive activity LED, two USB 3 ports, two USB 2 ports, headphone microphone jack, and a 5 and a quarter inch bay, which is covered by a plastic slide. That, if you pull off the front panel, uh, sort of front bezel, uh, which is quite easy to do, just pull from the bottom, you can uh, easily remove that. Now, on the back, you've got two water cooling grommets, five PCI lanes, and a two or two hundred and forty slash hundred twenty millimeter fan slots, uh, which is nice for sort of ventilation through the case. On the top, you have a removable panel that is quite easy to remove, although it doesn't quite sit flush with the top of the case, so any perfectionist might be a little bit annoyed with that one. The inside the case, you've got uh, a bag of screws and a manual, and you get four three and a half inch hard drive uh, sort of trays, which they're you know they're not really fantastic. There's no anti vibration really to them, but they will still work perfectly and still function just as you'd expect. Something to note is that you do have rather bare connectors for the front panel uh, headers that kind of just jut out from the front of the uh, case. So that is something to note with the aesthetics, and there are some uh, different mounting options fans in the front of the case too. Now personally I don't like the way these PCI slots attach as I don't, don't really like this push down kind of method um, but it is quite cool that there are thumb screws everywhere meaning you can remove the motherboard tray and build into the you know build onto it and then put it back in if you did want to. Also you can remove the five and a quarter inch bay uh, bracket up the top quite easily with uh, four screws on the sides and two on the front so you'll have to remove the front bezel for that too. Also, there is a fan hub down the bottom uh, next to the power supply, which connects to the fan hub switch on the back uh, sort of left-hand corner of the uh, case. It's quite nice that this is included and means that you can attach a couple more fans uh, and fairly easily control them, uh, which is quite nice. Now, cable management is a bit difficult, especially with that massive window and those long front panel headers. Um, and while I didn't obviously do my perfectly best attempt at it, it's something to note that it may take some time to kind of get it right and I also feel like the space down the bottom uh, is a little bit wasted with uh, basically just airflow as well. Anyway here's my thoughts. Now I know that uh, you know buying a case is probably the most subjective thing you do when building a PC and that's fair enough I and mean, my personal favourite is the Master Case 5 from Coolmaster um, it's the one I pretty much ruined uh, as well as use on a daily basis um, but this one still uh, functions perfectly well as a case and in terms of styling while it's not my personal favourite it doesn't you know wow me and make me want to stare at it all day uh, it's certainly not completely hideous I don't think anyway although feel free to let me know what you think in the comments down below. Now the building experience of it is definitely one of the key things in buying a case uh, especially if it's your first time building and for me it was pretty easy especially because you have so much access room obviously top if you take this panel off and either side and it's really great to be able to have so much access it's a lot easier to build a PC like this. Um, at the same time I did have a few uh, kind of points to note uh, and some, in, uh, I guess, questions about the, the design. So first of all, if you want to install a graphics card that is even relatively long or tall, you will need to remove the DVD drive bracket, which means if you want a graphics card, you can't have a DVD drive. And personally, I say that that's a, a fair enough trade as I don't really use them myself, but uh, hey, if you want one, that's a trade you might have to make. Uh, and you may be thinking, oh, but that's just because it's a 980 Amp Extreme. Uh, no, I tried a Zotac, uh, sorry, I tried a Asus uh, R9 Fury and an R9 280, so you know, it's not just the super duper high end cards uh, to, to point out. Now you do have great CPU clearance, uh, or CPU uh, cooler clearance. Um, I've got a 163, I think, mil cooler on here and there's still plenty of room up there. There's also room to install a fan at, you know, 120 mil or even 140 mil uh, closed loop water cooler in the back or 240 in the roof as well. So that's pretty awesome. You could even venture it uh, installing some in the front too. 
Now this case I wouldn't personally think to water cool, although it does look like there is some uh, av availability. There, there is cutouts to be able to put radiators in the front which is nice um, and the on that's the only reason I can think of for this space down here because basically speaking unless you have say a water cooling pump and you're running tubing through some way it doesn't really make much sense to me besides pulling airflow over the, uh, over the hard drives and that could be achieved pretty easily with this fan here and some passive ventilation so that, that space, unless you're maybe completely wor like custom water cooling the system that, that space feels a little bit like a wasted space to me um, but if you've got any ideas feel free to leave them in the comments down below other than that, the uh, overall experience is, as said, pretty easily. The only other thing I would like to note, especially in terms of aesthetics, because the inside is actually pretty nice. The paint is paint job is really nice, and the fact that you can remove the motherboard tray to build to you know build the PC and then put it back in is actually pretty nice. But um, something to note is that the front panel I/O is basically connected to the, the PCB that runs these ports. Um, the wires are basically just plugged in the back and sticking out. Uh, which means that that bit itself isn't all that aesthetically pleasing and the fact that the cables are basically a standard length for most cases means that these cables are very hard to cable manage quite e you know it's, it's difficult to make it look pretty especially especially considering the window runs all the way here uh, personally it would have probably been nicer just to cut the window off at the the motherboard tray but again it's you know all up to aesthetics and if you're willing to put in the time to make the case look as pretty as possible. Other than that, uh, it's still a perfectly functional case, so you can definitely hold quite a lot in here, um, which is quite cool. Obviously it's MATX, do bear that in mind. But other than that, yeah, I guess that's kind of it for the, the talking points. So uh, the, the pros and cons, I would say that it's very easy to build in. It can hold quite a lot. The general styling seems quite nice and the general build quality seems quite good too. The only thing I'd mention is that there's things like this plastic panel on the top that doesn't quite fit and if you are a kind of a, a perfectionist you know you, you might get a little bit annoyed by that but generally speaking it is pretty it does have a pretty good build quality. Um, the, the sort of cons are that obviously it feels like it could do with a bit of a redesign in the big blank area, the fact that the window shows the hard drives and therefore the cable mess and the fact that you need to take out the DVD drive bay to even install a relatively long graphics card um, and also the front panel connectors but other than that um, yeah it's still pretty decent I'm actually gonna have to kind of sweep through the style uh, through the scoring with four for pretty much everything because while it is a uh, you know there's still plenty of things to improve it's still a perfectly functional pretty decently priced PC or uh, PC case um, and I think it's going to get the bronze award because for me it's not perfect and there's certainly bits that could be improved but at the same time it's still as I said functional, can hold a decent amount and does have a decent uh, kind of styling to it if you like that sort of thing. Also other thing to note is that this, these PCI cards, uh, the way that it's held in, um, really not great. I, I don't like this uh, hold down style. Uh, I know that there are screws available but I had to effectively bend the back of the case in to be able to screw the graphics card in and I wasn't entirely happy with that so uh, that's just something to note as well. Other than that, uh, I guess that's kind of it. So uh, if you've got any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Like or dislike, uh, but let me know what you thought in the comments down below so I can improve it for next time. Um, check out some of our other videos as well. If you want to watch me ruin the Master Case 5, there's a, a full playlist for that. So uh, feel free to check that one out. Uh, subscribe, uh, check us out on Facebook and Twitter. If you're on Vessel, hello. If you're not, then uh, don't forget that these, vessel, uh, these videos go out uh, seven days early on Vessel. So feel free to check that out too. Um, um, if you really want to help us out, it would be awesome if you check out the Amazon links. Um, pretty much anywhere that has Amazon, I have links for it. So um, if you want to check that out, that would be really awesome. It helps a lot. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching and we'll see you all in the next video.